<laughs> hey guys, so today we have a box filled with some awesome games from University Games. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much to them for sending this to us. Thank, Thank you. you. So these are some fun games that you can do for family game night or New Year's Eve coming up, right guys? Mm -hmm. So do you guys want to see what's inside? Yes. Who's the smart person in your family? Mm. <laughs> oh, what do we have, guys? We have some popcorn and ah, a gift card for Domino's Pizza. Cool. Mm. We'll refer to the first game as Smart Donkey, shall we? <laughs> And it's for ages 12 and up, and it's for two to six players. Family gameplay night gets even more fun when it comes to finding out who's the smart donkey or a dumb donkey. <laughs> With all new questions, the hugely popular smart donkey game expands the play for even more fun. It's the only knowledge-based game in the market where everyone <laughs> plays at the same time. Be the first to guess the mystery topic from the clues given to prove you are the smart donkey of the group. So there's all different types of questions. Where am I? What am I? Who am I? Wait, are we ready to do a few questions from this game? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna do some of the what am I questions. Okay, now as soon as you think you know what it is, say the answer. Mm -hmm. I'll give you clues, ready? Mm -hmm. I'm an animal, I'm mate for life, I, An eagle. No. I am a sad Anton Chekhov play. I am the Utah State bird. You might remember me saying, Mine! I will try to steal your sandwich. A crow? No. I love going to the beach. A seagull. Yes! <laughs> well, how did I get that? <laughs> okay, let's do another one, guys. I am a kind of animal. My name means roof lizard. I am not really around much anymore. I was in King Kong. My brain is thought to be the size of a walnut. You're a dino. What kind of dino? Stegosaurus. Yes! Very good! You I know call hats! <laughs> you wanna know how I know this? That's a, that's a quote to Jurassic Park. Oh. <laughs> they thought they could stop me. <laughs> I got one, you got one, he You want to do one more? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Most people on earth have one of me. I help clean things. I clean a specific part of your body. I used to be made of hog bristles. People, a brush. What kind of brush? People <laughs> usually don't borrow me. Hairbrush. No. Toothbrush. Toothbrush! <laughs> Yay, I win. Want to do one more? Sure. You yeah. like this, huh? It's kind of cool. I'd like to get some harder ones, but... I can be hard or soft. Dogs and I have a special bond. I am very useful even after dying. I can live hundreds of years. I have it made in the shade. A tree. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> very good. <laughs> One more. I am a useful tool. I like to pinch, but I am not fresh. I work well with tiny things. I like to pluck and pull. You're a crab. No. A tweezer? A tweezers! Yes! Very good. Tweezers. <laughs> I thought it was an animal. I am a kind of food. I can be frozen. I'm very good for you. Broccoli? No. You can eat me as a salad or as a dip. I'm the main ingredient. A Tomato? Capita. No. I am green and leafy. So, uh... Lettuce? Avocado? No. no. I am Popeye's favorite food. Who's that? Oh, you don't even know Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> what am I with the initial S? Strawberries? Spinach. <laughs> it's leafy. <laughs> well, I should get strawberries without leaves, but no. <laughs> All right, guys, next we have Stupid Deaths, which is for ages 12 and up and for two to six players. Only the fittest will survive the race against the Grim Reaper. The frightfully funny game gives players 50-50 chances to get one step further from their death. As one person reads the death cards, player must think critically if an outrageous cause of death is true or false. It's as if your life depends on it. Players who are dead right win. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so for example, guys, I'll read one of the cards for you and you can see if you think it's true or false. 
Okay. John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, born 1735 and 1743, died in 1826. While not stupid deaths, these are ironic. Both John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, who were actually rivals, both fathers of the USA, died on July 4th, 1826. It was 50 years to the day after signing the Declaration of Independence. Is that true or false? False. false. True. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> you both got it wrong. King Alexander, born 1893, died 1920. Alexander became king of Greece at just 23 years of age. Three years later, he was dead from a bacterial infection. A monkey attacked the king's dog, and when Alexander tried to separate the animals, the monkey bit him. The king contracted blood poisoning from his wounds. True or false? True. False. True. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is a pretty interesting game, guys, huh? Yeah. <laughs> So, thank you again to University Games for sending us all of these amazing products. Thank, thank you. you. And these would definitely be a lot of fun for New Year's Eve, family game night, or any night of the week. Right, guys? Yes. <laughs> Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Until, Until then, guys, guys, bye. bye. I'm still getting open these cards. <laughs> <laughs>